Now, chips are just one part of the pain in the tech trade, and our next guest says things are about to get even uglier for the entire tech space in the back half of the year. Joining us now is Gene Munster, Loop Ventures managing partner. Hey, Gene. Um, Hi, Mike. I, I guess I guess for a lot of folks, um, the notion of tech being somewhat cyclical or even acutely cyclical, depending on where you are, is is something of a of a revelation given that the last flash recession we had was actually great uh, for the tech fundamentals. What, what are you most on alert for here in the way of, uh, of challenges from the macro to tech? Well, just the psychology around management teams is what I'm most on alert for is it's true. These companies do have a secular or do have the ability to power through uh, slow times. If we go back and look at what happened with Google during 2011, the growth rate went from surge from 25 percent down to 10 percent. Apple during that same period was comfortably beating estimates and just was coming in line. So they are affected. And I think the most prudent approach here as we think about going into the June earnings is to be patient and be ready. I think ultimately is that these companies are going to show some uh, some signs of that softness. And I mentioned at the top of my remarks about the psychology around this in management teams is they're hearing all of this, too. And there's a simple credibility factor that is in play here. If these companies, if their businesses are doing well, I take Apple, for example, I think that their June quarter is going to be solid. I think that their marks as they start thinking about September are optimistic. But I would think that they're going to be in line with probably a lot of companies, pretty much every company, and have some sort of cautionary tone when they start to frame in September. And the reason why I think that that can cause a pullback in some of these stocks is that tech investors, by nature, are optimistic. There is just this sense that we're three months away from things springing back. And some of that needs to get extracted from the psychology of, these, uh, of investors, myself included. And so I would just kind of uh, bring it together and, and think about this, uh, this quarter, the June quarter and the September outlook in particular. I think we're going to come close to marking the bottom. I, I, I know that's a difficult role to uh, predict, but ultimately I think this is going to, it's going to go lower, but set up for a great 2023.